Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I'm going to take a quick look at the mod, the Editor Extensions mod. Now, Editor Extensions is created by Mach XX5. That's Mach 25 in Roman numerals. Because the Romans obviously had designs on flying at faster than the speed of sound. Now, Mach 25, of course is roughly how fast you have to fly on Earth to get into orbit, but on Kerbin such speeds are considered bourgeois and excessive. Anyway, um, what it does is it modifies the editor, and the first and most obvious way, if you look in the bottom left, those little uh, symmetry and angle snap icons have changed. So now I get numerical values, I can do things like 7 times symmetry, but if I keep pushing X, I can go all the way up to... 30, 40, 45, I've got to be careful, I don't, 50, there we go, 50 times symmetry, not bad to start with, but we can do better, we, can, we have a bunch of other features, it isn't just about providing tons of symmetry, um, you can also go in, let's just stick this on here, uh, this will give us well, if we press X here, we're gonna. What we can do is toggle surface attachment mode for parts which don't normally allow surface attachment. So, for example, let's take these little engines here, the Rockamax, and we can build engine clusters with it. So, if I turn on um, the radial surface attachment by pressing Alt R, instead of just locking onto the middle, now I can lock it anywhere in the bottom of this, right? And by pressing X, I can create rocket clusters. Marvelous, see? And that's a little too high. It is possible to adjust the clipping mode as well from the... It's a possible to adjust clipping mode from within the editor as well, which is nice. Yeah, that's a whole bunch of those sticking on there. That should fly marvelously. Um, and the other thing, which is extremely useful, is the ability to change uh, symmetry modes from within the from within the editor. So you can go between aircraft and regular symmetry mode. So if I grab this, this is a canard, let's stick some canards on. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's let's turn this down. Pressing tab changes us to aircraft symmetry mode and you see now it wants to fly down here. So if we grab this and turn it on its side and start attaching, uh, I thought that would be slightly better, but apparently I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. That would work great if it wasn't for those things in the way. Well, so much for that plan. <laughs> Maybe these new fancy canards will work instead. Hey, I think they're pointing backwards, but who cares? So now we have aircraft symmetry mode. We can, of course, do multiple of these, and they'll attach in the same way. So we've got them attaching above for our positive dihedral, and we've got them attaching below for negative dihedral and we'll stick this on and we'll probably should stick a parachute on because it would be unfair to launch this guy on such a bold experiment without any way to get him back let's uh let's launch this sucker uh yeah let's make sure we've got all this things set up correctly well, i'm gonna fire this parachute independently that's the only thing let's fire up the engines first ready Look at that! Totally flies! Uh, oh, except it's not gonna work. Well, let us move swiftly on. I mean, if you remember this, there was a mod called Ed Tools that was developed by Deadbeef. And uh, that was this is pretty much a clone of that. The reason is that Deadbeef thing, he you know, disappeared, he didn't leave any source code behind, and we were all sad because he made such amazing core mods, such as this and the sub-assembly loader. So people have gone on and they've they've recreated most of his work in you know, new style, basically. And we're all left to wonder what happened to Deadbeef, especially since Deadbeef is such an awesomely nerdy name. If you don't know, Deadbeef actually translates to a hexadecimal number that was used to initialize uninitialized memory of IBM mainframes, so you could always tell when your program had gone off into uninitialized memory. Anyway, uh, let's go and look at some other mods. Okay, so the next mod I wanted to look at in my little quick short mod, mod showcase thingy is uh, this docking alignment indicator that was created by Navy Fish. Now, we all know the problem that you're sometimes pointing at the target, uh, but so if you look here on the nav ball, I'm more or less pointed at the correct target, but the docking alignment is way out. If we come over, we can see the dock at the target is pointing completely different direction to me. In fact, it is rotating very slowly. That I don't know what's going on there, but I should kill it. 
<laughs> so um, what this is is it, it's a helpful indicator that shows when you're actually aligned to the docking interface see so I start here and that's me now aligned to the docking interface so I can now translate sideways and try to keep these things lined up going to hopefully be able to get in there rather more quickly unfortunately the Sun is in a really awful position for this so we're gonna not see everything we'd like to see I guess so I'm just gonna try keeping both of these pointed the same way because still not balancing is still not really working particularly well supposedly there was uh, some sort of balancing pass added when you when you go into fine control mode but you'll note that in fine control mode I'm still getting rotation and uh, this is a stock vehicle this is just the standard um, lunar orbit scenario so look we got these lined up now and got our velocities lined up so as long as so you got to watch the velocity indicator using the translation controls and use rotation controls to keep the docking indicator lined up right that's how this works so I'm gonna keep moving towards the target and this is not it's it's kinda like playing a piano or something I think this thing may be rotating <laughs> I think there may be some like phantom rotation going on here cuz this thing is rotating sideways in, in not a good way <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a physics bug but I should be able to get around it nevertheless there we go don't don't mess this up I'm this is my first time trying to dock with this indicator it's kind of useful um, but at the same time it's maybe a little disconcerting that I you know, haven't used it before but I'm just gonna go in quickly before before this thing rotates off center anymore and that's sky making noises in the background yes yes get in there as fast as possible because this thing is rotating and do we get it no 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 oh there we got it we got a dog we got a dog we got a dog yes yay you see success a successful test of the, the docking indicator Wow, I actually like that a whole lot more because it's a lot lighter than the, the docking camera mod. The problem with the docking cam mod is you get everything in the ROM fire or DLL and we all know that I had trouble with physics loading distances so it's nice to have that separately out there. Yeah, not bad mod. I fully support it and uh, encourage its development. Now the last mod I wanted to look at is the Subassembly Manager by the Undead Fish. Uh, obviously this was previously a dead beef mod and he is no longer around so they've tried to recreate it and uh, this is what we have of course. So you, you know how it works, you hold Alt and you select a subsection. This is a standard feature you can do that. The trick is you can drag it to the Save Sub button and select to save it here and we'll save it as Tony Probe there and now well now we can add as many of these as we like so let's uh, come up with a way of actually adding multiple probes to this spacecraft um, what we need is uh, 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 yes actually we should take this one off throw, throw this away now let's do that and underneath the top of this rocket underneath the structural section that's it we can of course add these some of these and of course alt r gives us radial attachment and we can put a few of these on here now we can load the sub assembly load select tony probe select and now we've got them and we can have a few of these on top of my nice rocket there we go you see we should probably have the rest of the rocket built underneath it so we can see how it works let's uh just just do that uh oh, oh, come on come on you want to work don't you no, there we go. And yeah, one of these will do. 
So that's it. Yeah, you can save your launch stages between different parts, and you can then, um, you know, t you reuse them, reuse them between different rockets, and it's all very good. Now, a word of warning is that this is um, probably going to be made redundant in the next version, supposedly, because one hint that was let out by Max Maps was that point two two will contain an official squad version of the sub assembly saver and loader. So you might want to wait until then, or you might want to just build all your stuff now and then find out that it's incompatible later. Regardless, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.